Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. Uh, get brought to you by the Church of Good Shepherd in Tequesta, Florida. It is Tuesday, January 18th. It is a bright and chilly morning in Florida and absolutely beautiful. We are glad to have you with us. My name is Kathy Hawken. And if you would like to join the live service, please go to goodsheponline.org. Hit the worship uh, at the top of the page and it will bring you down to a place where it says prayer. Click on that and you can scroll down to find a picture of pews with prayer books that will bring you to the video. Right underneath that, there is another uh, spot where you can download today's service. This service will be available at 10 a.m. on all of the Good Shepherd uh, virtual uh, activities, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and of course on the site uh, at Good Shepherd. So welcome, Debbie. Now we have four. We're really in good shape. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For, your, for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm today is the Vanity. Let us say this together in unison. Actually, we could almost sing it this morning with uh, Debbie and Ian, but Joan and I might not help. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods in his hands are all the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also the sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry. come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along the right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen.
Our first lesson this morning is from Acts, chapter 4, verses 8 through 13. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and realized they were uneducated and ordinary men, they were amazed and recognized them as companions of Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first song of Isaiah, we will say it in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water from rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to God through the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say I am? Peter, Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say the song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of servant Israel for he has remembered the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And now let us confess our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended at dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage is A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Uh, today, we celebrate, or we have a colleague that celebrates the confession of Peter. And in Christianity, the confession of Peter refers to an episode in the New Testament in which the apostle Peter proclaims Jesus to be the Christ. And we just read about that in Matthew. This proclamation is also written in Mark and Luke. And depending on which gospel one reads, Peter either says you are the Messiah or the Christ, or you are the Messiah, the son of the living God, or God's Messiah. Uh, this proclamation, is fundamental to Christology. The confession of Peter, Peter and Jesus' acceptance of the title Messiah form a definitive, definitive statement in the New Testament narrative regarding the person of Jesus Christ. Um, so Ian commented as we were starting that uh, if you have anything to confess, this might be a good day to do it. I can remember one of my dear little friends who never did anything wrong, did not talk back, and she had to go to her first confession. And I said, what are you going to confess? She said, well, I'll just have to make something up. <laughs> Unfortunately, that would not be my case. But the Lord does forgive us. And for that, I am truly thankful. So for Peter, the colic for the Feast of Confession of St. Peter. Almighty Father, who inspired Saint Simon Peter, first among the apostles to confess Jesus as Messiah and the Son of the living God, keep your church steadfast upon the rock of his faith, and in unity and peace we, we may proclaim the one truth and follow the one Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A colleague for grace. Lord God Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. O oh God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in the darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in your light we may see light, and in your straight path may not stumble, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Those are two of my favorite colleagues. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in all denominations, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Jos, Nigeria, the right, the most reverend, Dr. Benjamin 
a Kawashi Archbishop. We pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of the Dominican Republic, the Right Reverend Moses Guzada Mota Bishop. A prayer for mission. Oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Joe and Connie, Ruth, Scotty, Joseph, Dave and Marion, Joan, Lynn, Rachel, George, Nolan, Joan and family, Susan, Mary, Drew, Joe, John, Cassandra, Charlie, Bob and Kim, Teresa and family, Jake, Janie, Dennis and Janet, and Barbara. We also I'm sorry that I was muted and thank you for whatever you did, Ian. Uh, Ian asked that we pray for a peaceful resolution to the Ukrainian situation and that is one of those things that is difficult to understand it's you know there have been so many of these over the years so we pray dear lord to ask your direction for all the leaders that they may come to a positive and safe conclusion of this conflict and end it once and for all we ask this in your name amen and i think i'm just very thankful to be able to live where we can join together and pray, where we can share our opinions, even if they're not the same as everyone else's, although that's becoming somewhat questionable. So I would pray to God to help us hear what others are saying so that we might get to those good conclusions that will make this an even better place to live. I ask this in your name, dear Lord. Amen. And now, oh, Ian also said the glorious, Thanksgiving for the glorious weather, and that for sure is true. All righty, I need to go back this way. I need a bigger screen. Let us say together a litany of Thanksgiving. 
Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering, suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And finally, let us say together a prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for being here, guys, and have a fabulous day. I know you will be kind to all you see, and I hope that it is a truly blessed day. Uh, we will be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Amen.